Hello, I'm late with last week's flashback, but let's let's give it a shot anyway. This is the flashback that was that was published on my birthday and I didn't solve it that day. Let's see what happened in history. So we're starting in 1965 with Pope Paul VI as the first sitting pontiff to visit the United States. We're now given panic spreading in the Habsburg Empire after officials receive reports of vampire attacks in what is now Serbia. I'm going to say that was prior to 1965. Indeed, it was circa the 1720s. All right, we have a group of friends set fire to a wooden figure on a beach in San Francisco, the first of what becomes an annual event they call Burning Man. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's actually, I find that difficult to place before or after 1965. I'm going to say after 1965. Yes, okay, 1986, so comfortably later. Fair enough. Alexander Bain, a Scottish engineer, receives a patent for an electric printing, printing telegraph, a precursor to the modern fax machine. Ooh. Okay. Maybe this should be incredibly obvious to me. It, it actually isn't obvious to me whether it's before or after 1965. I'm going to say, oh, what do I think it is? Before 1965, perhaps? Oh, considerably before. Okay. I'm, I keep thinking these are going to be close and then they're not particularly close. <laughs> Uh, Mastodon's caribou and Arctic hares roam a region just 600 miles from the North Pole. I'll say that's prior to the 1720s. Yes, two million years ago, comfortably so. Smash Mouth releases the song All Star, which later reaches new heights of popularity after being included in Shrek. Well, that'll be after all of these things, I think it's safe to say. Yes, 1999. Congress passes the Americans with Disabilities Act, a victory for people who had been denied rights and access to public services. I think that was in the early 1990s. It was exactly in 1990. Okay. Dwight D. Eisenhower is the first U.S. president to visit India. That's interesting. Uh, that'll go here in 1959. All right. And the tennis star Althea Gibson wins what is now called the U.S. Open, the first black player to do so. Oh boy, I do not have a clue about this, unfortunately. I assume it'll be the 1950s or 60s, but... Oh, yeah, I really, I just don't know. I, <laughs> if you watch my Crossword videos, you'll know that sports is really my, my absolute weakest subject, I would say. What do I think that is? I don't know. I'll just have to take a guess. Oh, I was right. It was 1950. Well, I wouldn't have known the year, but I was right about the direction. I'll take it. 1957. Great. Okay. Well, I got this one uh, completely correct. I'm very pleased about that. And that was the flashback.